previously on Breath of the Wild. <laughs> okay, thanks. Here, take the 500 rupees I've saved up. It's my life savings. Please don't just go <laughs> running off with it. <laughs> oh, no. Aim for the moment. Uh, uh huh. Uh, yep. I think I know what I need to do. I need to save that up and then hit Shablooski. And there we go. Probably like three is enough. Oh, that did. Oh, no, it did work. Nice. Was a little worried it wouldn't. Oh, jeez, Louise! Absolutely, just shot me into the sky. I mean, it works for me. I needed to get over here anyway. I wonder, like, if you're. Oh, hello. I can get my arrows back. Very nice. I feel like if you're like above this thing and you're just like flying like this or something. Oh, okay. And you're like this. That would absolutely just shatter your legs. Like you would You would probably be paralyzed if we're if we're on it. Wait, what? Did I completely miss where I was going? Oh right, through that hole there. Yeah, okay. Oh right. Uh -huh. there we go. Okay, I, I don't know how to do that. I'm dumb. There's a thing you can do where you can, like, jump off a thing really quickly and then, like, put down a bomb, put down another bomb, and then you shoot it off and then you go flying. But, like, I'm really not that coordinated. Like, I'll maybe try it, but I'm really not good at that type of stuff. So. Hello. Egads. Hmm, what is it, my smart man? What you looking at? Hmm, what could it be? I happen to notice that a section of the cliff face there in the distance looks almost man-made. <laughs> My smart man, tell me, you can see it too, yes? I would take a closer look if I could get there on my own. Well, yeah, sure you would. Yeah, you definitely look like the type Reginald. Or whatever your name was. It was for sure Z's Reginald. Right, guys? Back me up. Let's gaslight into everybody that doesn't believe me into believing me. I gotta talk to Mr. Birdman up here. Yep. Oh. Uh -huh. I did not hear you approach. I was lost in this song written by my late teacher. He passed away several years ago, you see. And this was the last song he taught me. Oh, that's so sad. Excuse me, I fear I may have gotten carried away. Nostalgia will do that to a person. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Yeah, let's hear it, gamer. Excellent. Without further ado. On a single arrow threads two rings. Okay. The shrine will rise like birds on wings. Do you think the rings in the song refer to these oddly shaped rocks? And what of the shrine? There's a mystery to be uncovered here, that's for sure, and I get the feeling the truth is beyond my wildest imagination. May the light illuminate your path. Wow, that's very insightful of you. Anyway, yeah, you just, it's, I feel like this is a pretty obvious shrine quest where you just like, oh, there's a bunch of rings and you have to shoot an arrow through two of them. You just have to find one where... Some rings actually line up in a meaningful way. Like this one, obviously, you can't really do. I mean, maybe you could this direction, possibly. Let me see here. 
No, yeah, see that, like, definitely, that's a no. Uh, but what about, like... Yeah, no, you can't really... What about over this way? Oh, yep, there it is. This what? Come, oh my gosh! Oh shoot! I think I maybe figured it out, guys. I maybe figured it out. Oh, I'm close. Hey, there we go. Where did that pop up? Where? Where did that pop up? Oh, here it is. Grab all my arrows. Ah, shriny, whiny, here you are. -y. That made no sense whatsoever. Shim Dagozi Shrine. Aw, oh, yeah, let's get it, gamers. I hope this one is just a reward, because honestly, I honestly just, I'm, I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. I don't think it is, though. It's not. Of course it isn't. Moving in parallel? Oh, I see. Oh, do you have to have both in the same time or something? No, you don't, okay. Oh, shoot. Very nice. Well. Interesting, interesting. But I need yeah, this. Obviously. Oh my gosh. Are you sh Well, well, I definitely don't want this halberd. I don't care. Gotta stop giving me weapons, though. I want, like, armor. Like, come on, bro. You know, you could have just stayed where you were for, like, a couple sec. I could have frozen it, honestly. There we go. That took long enough. Jeez Louise. You guys like my new hat? It's Lego. It's Lego brand. I got it. In my most recent Lego unboxing video, you would you would have known that. But, you know. What can I say? You guys don't watch my videos. Alrighty. Now we continue with what we were doing. Guys, I don't want unsolicited advice. Alright. So for anybody in the comments of any of my videos, and they're like, you should do this or you should do that. Make sure you do this before you do that. I don't care, okay? I don't want your advice, so just shut up. That's it. Thank you. I've played the game before. The 
sure to take the time to soothe your mount. That's the only way it will know how you truly feel. Your advice was quite helpful, thank you. And this little one and I are getting along quite well now. At first, I wasn't sure if I should outfit him with all of the royal gear. I thought maybe he should have to earn it first. But it works. He wears it like a true natural. I'm trying to be a bit more empathetic. Benefit of the doubt, you know? See that mountain? That's Mount Lanero. It takes its name from the goddess of wisdom. Lanero's decree is very specific. It says no one is allowed under the age of 17. For only the wise are permitted a place upon the mountain. I've prayed at the spring of courage and at the spring of power, yet neither awoke anything inside me. But maybe up there, perhaps the spring of wisdom, the final of the three, will be the one. To be honest, I have no real reason to think that will be the case. But there's always the chance that the next moment will change everything. Tomorrow is my 17th birthday. So then I shall go and make my way up the mountain. Dang, she kinda young. 17? I thought she was older, honestly. That's crazy. Anyway, that was a nice thumbnail. It was really pretty, honestly. Here is a Korok. Bye. Yep. Oh my god, Acorn Sp McGee. Oh. Goody. <laughs> I don't like this. Yep. Yo. I really don't like that, honestly. Alright, and a cut. And cut. Oh my god, they give me just the worst sh crap. I guess I can get rid of that since it's almost broken anyway, but... Man, they just really give me garbage. I gotta be honest. I don't like, like, half of the crap they give me. Can I... Can I... I don't... Yeah, no, there's no way I can shoot that. Um, but... That's not the right thing. Magnesis. Now this one might be a bit difficult. Yeah. Oh no. Don't. Oh, that's really freaking close. I'm so freaking scared. I feel like that's gonna just smack me right in the face and just obliterate me. Give me the bow. I just want to get out of here. There we go. God, that was terrifying. I thought for sure that was just going to smack me right in the face and send me into oblivion. Oh no, okay. 
I can grab it. Oh, wait, what? I still need to go find that fairy shrine. Hey, he's just coping. He's not really suffering at the fact that I stole all of his money and I'm not going to do what he asked me to. Yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. Here, take the 500 rupees I've saved up. It's my life savings. Please don't just go <laughs> running off with it. <laughs> oh, no. It's fine, right, guys? You guys don't think I'm a monster for not actually doing what that guy asked me to do and giving me his entire life savings, right guys? I'm not a monster. Um... What does this do? Oh, that's what that does. Um, well... I have this great flame blade I can use. Well, I'm on fire, but... All's well that ends well, really. Yep. I have completed your shrine, ma'am. 